Hi, I'm James McGrail, the newest member of the Applied Anthropology Network team. I'm going to be taking over editing, hosting, and publishing the podcast version of AAN events like this one. In this episode, you'll be hearing a presentation from Simon Roberts. Simon is the founder of Stripe Partners, an organization which bridges the gap between business and what happens in the real world. Drawing on his years of ethnographic experience, Simon explains embodied knowledge, the information that is unconsciously picked up by our body for use in every area of our lives. He summarizes some of the key ideas from his book, The Power of Not Thinking. Simon then challenges us to answer the question, how can you make research consultancy more embodied and how do we implement these approaches in the post-lockdown world? Join us as we explore what we can achieve if we stop thinking and start trusting our bodies. If you've not attended an AAN event before, here's Marcus Rothmuller to explain the idea further. In each event, we provide you with an impulse of human-centeredness, presented by applied anthropologists to improve the world impulse by impulse by impulse. Each session ends with a challenging or provocative question to spark discussion among the audience and the broadly growing community of applied anthropologists. The AEN impulses are provided by Applied Clubs, a space for sub-communities and more specific groups of applied anthropologists to meet, exchange knowledge, discuss needs and action items, and to find mentors, friends and jobs that can support your career as an applied anthropologist on the long run. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe and share this with your friends or network in case you liked what you are about to experience. Our third impulse comes from Simon Roberts, author of The Power of Not Thinking and founding partner at Stripe. You can find him at Ideas Bazaar on Twitter and Instagram. In this session, he challenges us to think about the knowledge of the body, like riding a bike, and how we might implement this embodiment into our work as anthropologists. Here's an extract from Simon's talk. I suppose I want to start with a sort of a simple observation, and I suspect that there's nobody on this call that cannot ride a bike. Um, if you can't ride a bike, apologies, but um, I suspect that most of you can. But I also suspect that most of you have no idea how you do it. Um, and you wouldn't be alone, because most of... Um, the world's kind of engineers who've been exploring this idea for well over a hundred years actually almost since the birth of the first thing that looked like a bicycle um, have taken um, uh, many 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 uh, nearly a hundred years to figure out how it is that a, ba a bicycle balances um, both when we're on it um, but also when we're not on it so in other words there's kind of huge amounts of physics um, and mechanics involved in the riding of a bicycle. But the interesting thing is that none of that is actually um, important for anybody riding a bicycle to know, right? So there's a form of knowledge about how to ride a bike, which operates almost completely independently of our practical ability to actually ride a bicycle. Search for AAN Impulses on YouTube and Spotify to hear the rest of Simon's talk and be sure to follow us on social media to keep up to date with all our events.